Did you know that the key to living a truly fulfilling life doesn't come from external achievements or material success? Instead, it's rooted in something much more powerful, mastering your mind and emotions. If you want to unlock the secret to living with inner peace, resilience and happiness, you need to start with the wisdom of the Stoics. The best philosophy for navigating the chaos of modern life and embracing true fulfillment comes from the ancient Stoic thinkers. Their timeless teachings provide a roadmap to building strength from within, overcoming fear and finding true contentment, no matter what life throws your way. Avoid this mistake if you want to live a life of purpose. Most people chase happiness through external sources, money, status and approval. But what if I told you that true happiness is a choice and it starts with how you respond to the world around you? In this video, we'll dive deep into the stoic principles that can help you break free from the constant pursuit of external validation, build resilience and rediscover your inner peace. Ready to transform your mindset? Let's get started. Number 1. Transforming self-doubt into self-appreciation We all have those days where we feel like we're not enough, where self-doubt creeps in and makes us question our worth. The feeling of inadequacy can be all too familiar. You look at others achieving great things, and for a brief moment you wonder if you'll ever reach that level. But let's pause for a second. What if I told you that the journey to transforming that very self-doubt into something powerful and positive lies within you. Imagine for a moment that you're standing in front of a mirror. You've just accomplished something. Maybe you passed a test, got a promotion, or achieved a personal goal. For some of us, that accomplishment is immediately followed by a sense of, well, that wasn't too hard, or even worse, I could have done more. It's this internal dialogue that often leads to self-doubt. But what if we could train our minds to acknowledge our victories, no matter how small, and use them as fuel for self-appreciation? This isn't just wishful thinking. It's a mindset shift that can radically change the way you view yourself. Self-doubt stems from our inner critic, that voice that tells us we aren't good enough that we'll never be as successful as others. It's often linked to a deep desire for external validation. But here's the truth. Self-worth isn't determined by how others see you. It's built from within. The Stoic philosophy teaches us that true contentment and confidence come from self-control, acceptance of our limits, and the recognition that we are enough as we are. It's about turning inward and finding peace rather than constantly measuring yourself against others. Now, let's think back. Remember a time when you faced a challenge. Maybe it was a job interview or something that made you nervous. You were unsure if you could do it, but somehow you pushed through. That feeling of success afterward, when you proved to yourself that you were capable, is the key. It wasn't about anyone else's opinion, was it? It was about realizing your own strength. That moment was proof that you can overcome self-doubt and transform it into self-appreciation. This isn't something that happens overnight, but with consistent practice, you'll notice that your inner dialogue shifts. You'll start recognizing your own worth, acknowledging your efforts, and appreciating the person you are becoming. And now, as you reflect, I want you to imagine a version of yourself who wakes up every day knowing their value, a person who has turned self-doubt into a stepping stone for growth. How would your life change if you no longer questioned your abilities? If you stood tall, confident in the knowledge that you are capable of achieving greatness? This shift in mindset isn't some distant dream. It's something you can start working on today. The only question now is, are you ready to embrace it? Number two, the power of gratitude in Stoic wisdom. Have you ever had one of those days where everything feels like it's going wrong? You wake up late, spill your coffee, get stuck in traffic, and everything that follows seems to add to your stress. It's easy to get caught up in these negative moments and spiral into frustration. 
But what if I told you that the key to navigating even the most difficult days lies in something as simple as gratitude? Now, I know what you're thinking. How can gratitude fix anything when everything seems to be falling apart? The Stoics, who were masters of inner peace and emotional control, believed that the power of gratitude was one of the most transformative tools we have. For them, gratitude wasn't about being thankful when things are good, it was about finding appreciation in every moment, especially the challenging ones. Take Marcus Aurelius, one of the greatest Stoic philosophers and emperors of Rome. In his personal journals, he repeatedly expressed gratitude, not just for the good things in life, but for the hardships and challenges he faced. He believed that every situation, whether perceived as positive or negative, was an opportunity to practice virtue and develop wisdom. Think about that for a moment. What if every setback you encountered wasn't a roadblock, but a stepping stone to becoming a better version of yourself? What if, instead of getting upset about a challenging situation, you took a step back and asked, what can I learn from this? How can this make me stronger? When we're grateful, we shift our focus. We stop dwelling on what's wrong and we begin to see what's right. This doesn't mean ignoring the problems in our lives or pretending everything is perfect. It means acknowledging the difficulties, but also appreciating the things we often take for granted a roof over our heads, the people who support us, the opportunities we have to grow. Gratitude allows us to view life through a different lens, one that recognizes both the light and the darkness and helps us find peace in the present moment. I want you to think back to a time when you were struggling, maybe during a difficult period in your life. How did you handle it? Did you focus only on the negative? Or did you find something, no matter how small, to be grateful for? Perhaps it was a supportive friend or a lesson learned through the hardship. Reflecting on those moments, you might realize that gratitude helped you keep going, even when things seemed bleak. It's not about being overly optimistic or pretending everything's perfect. It's about choosing to find something good, even in the worst of times. Now, as you think about your life today, imagine waking up each morning with a heart full of gratitude, even when things don't go according to plan. Imagine what your day would look like if you faced challenges with the mindset of a stoic, seeing every difficulty as an opportunity for growth. How would that change the way you experience life? Number three, the journey of self-investment and growth. Self-investment is one of the most powerful actions you can take to transform your life. But here's the thing, it's not always glamorous and it certainly isn't instant. The journey of self-investment requires time, patience and a willingness to do the hard work, even when the rewards aren't immediately visible. It's easy to get distracted by the latest trends, quick fixes, or the constant pressure to be successful. But true growth, the kind that lasts, comes from investing in yourself every single day. Think about a time when you committed to something, whether it was learning a new skill, getting in shape, or mastering a craft. At first, it might have felt like an uphill battle. The early days were difficult, there were times when you questioned whether it was worth it, but you kept going, didn't you? That perseverance, that consistency, is what makes all the difference. Investing in yourself isn't about the momentary satisfaction of quick results. It's about the long-term benefits that come from a lifetime of dedication. The Stoics understood that personal growth is a lifelong journey. For them, self-investment wasn't about accumulating material wealth or status, but about cultivating wisdom, virtue and inner peace. They focused on the things they could control their actions, their thoughts, their reactions. By investing in these areas, they created a strong foundation for personal growth that didn't depend on external circumstances. Reflecting on your own life, Think about the areas where you've invested time and effort, whether it was your health, your education, or your relationships. 
The progress you've made didn't happen by accident. It happened because you dedicated yourself to growth, even when it felt hard. That's the power of self-investment. It's about making choices that align with the person you want to become, even when the immediate rewards aren't obvious. As you continue on your journey of self-investment, I want you to consider something important. Are you investing in the right things? Are you prioritizing the areas of your life that will bring you long-term fulfillment and growth? Or are you getting caught up in distractions that don't serve your greater purpose? The journey to personal growth doesn't happen overnight, but it's a path that, once you commit to it, leads to a life filled with deeper fulfillment, peace and achievement. Number 4. Recognizing the value of small steps in personal development. Sometimes it feels like life's challenges are just too big. You look at your goals, the dream job, the perfect body, the ideal relationships, and they seem miles away. The road to self-improvement can feel daunting, and the distance between where you are and where you want to be often leads to frustration. But here's a secret, big changes don't always happen overnight. In fact, the key to lasting transformation often lies in the small, consistent steps you take every single day. Now, think back to a time when you achieved something significant in your life. Maybe it was something simple, like getting through a tough day at work, or something bigger, like completing a challenging project or learning a new skill. How did you get there? Was it a grand leap, or was it a series of small actions, day after day, that eventually added up to something meaningful? Most likely, it was the latter. Change doesn't happen in one moment of brilliance, it happens over time, with intentional effort. This is where the power of small steps comes in. The Stoics understood the value of incremental progress. They didn't expect instant results or perfect outcomes. Instead, they focused on steady, daily improvement. Marcus Aurelius, for example, didn't wake up one day with all the wisdom and calm that we associate with Stoicism. He had to work at it day by day, cultivating virtues like patience, humility and resilience. He focused on taking small actions, refining his character and improving his mind. This is why, when we look at the Stoic philosophy, it's about slow, deliberate growth, not sudden leaps of success. Reflecting on this, you might think about your own journey. Have you been waiting for that one breakthrough moment, that instant of clarity or success? What if you changed your perspective and started focusing on the small wins? What if you shifted your attention to the small habits that add up over time, like reading a few pages every day or taking 10 minutes each morning for meditation? Small steps might not feel as dramatic in the moment, but they compound over time and lead to profound change. Imagine waking up each day with a commitment to just get a little bit better than yesterday. Instead of focusing on the overwhelming mountain of goals ahead of you, Focus on taking one step forward. Every small action you take is a step toward your larger goal, and over time, you'll see how far you've come. The key to personal development is not just in the grand gestures, but in the daily commitment to growth. Number 5. Shifting Perspectives – Viewing Self-Improvement as a Duty For many of us, self-improvement is something we think about when we have the time, when we're feeling motivated, or when we're confronted with a problem we can't avoid. But what if we began to view self-improvement as a duty? What if instead of seeing it as something optional, we approached it with the seriousness and commitment that we would apply to a job or a relationship? In a world where distractions are everywhere, where social media tells us who to be and what to strive for, it's easy to forget that our greatest responsibility is to ourselves. Stoic philosophers like Seneca and Epictetus viewed self-improvement not as a luxury, but as a moral obligation. For them, developing virtue, wisdom and self-discipline was essential to living a meaningful and fulfilled life. 
It wasn't about chasing external accolades or validation, but about improving oneself for the sake of living a good life, for the sake of becoming the person you were meant to be. But here's the catch. Self-improvement requires consistent action, and it's easy to fall into the trap of complacency. We tell ourselves that we'll start tomorrow, or when things are better, or after we finish this one thing. But tomorrow never comes, and before we know it, we've spent years waiting for the right moment to improve. Stoicism teaches us to act now, to take responsibility for our own growth, regardless of external circumstances. It's about choosing to be the best version of ourselves every single day, not because we are perfect, but because we are committed to becoming better. Reflecting on your own life, think about how you view self-improvement. Do you see it as an essential part of who you are, or do you treat it as a secondary priority? What would happen if you committed to self-improvement as a duty, as something that you must do for your own well-being? Imagine how your life could shift if you viewed every day as an opportunity to become a little better, to refine your skills, to learn, to grow. When you view self-improvement as a duty, you stop waiting for the perfect moment to start. You begin to take action now, in the small moments, in the everyday choices. This doesn't mean overloading yourself with unrealistic expectations, but it does mean that you start treating your personal growth with the seriousness it deserves. Number six, breaking free from the need for external validation. We live in a world where external validation has become one of the primary sources of our self-worth. Social media constantly bombards us with images of success, beauty and happiness. And it's easy to fall into the trap of measuring our value against the curated lives of others. But what happens when we realize that true fulfillment doesn't come from the approval of others, but from within? What happens when we learn to break free from the need for external validation? Think back to a moment when you sought approval from someone. Maybe it was a boss, a partner, or even strangers on the internet. Did it make you feel truly satisfied, or did it leave you wanting more? The problem with external validation is that it's fleeting. We seek praise, but it's never enough. We crave likes, comments, and compliments, but even when we get them, we're left feeling empty. This cycle can be exhausting, and it can prevent us from truly growing as individuals. The Stoics understood this all too well. They knew that seeking validation from outside sources was a path to unhappiness and instability. Instead, they taught that true fulfillment comes from within. Epictetus, for example, emphasized that we can control only our own actions and thoughts, not the opinions of others. By focusing on our own values, virtues and actions, we can find contentment that isn't dependent on the fleeting praise of others. Reflecting on your own life, think about the times you've sought validation from others. How did it make you feel in the long run? Did it bring lasting happiness, or was it just a temporary fix? Now imagine what it would be like to break free from that cycle, to no longer rely on external validation for your sense of worth. How would your confidence shift if you knew, deep down, that your value comes from who you are, not from what others think of you? Breaking free from the need for external validation requires a shift in perspective. It's about learning to appreciate your own worth, without needing someone else to tell you how great you are. The Stoics encourage us to focus on what we can control, our actions, our thoughts, our reactions, and to find fulfillment in these areas, not in the opinions of others. When you stop seeking approval, you free yourself to become the person you truly want to be. Number seven, the Stoic approach to internal fulfillment. Internal fulfillment is the key to living a peaceful and meaningful life. It's the idea that true happiness comes from within, not from external circumstances. We are constantly told that we need more, more money, more success, more possessions, to be happy. But what if the Stoics were right? 
What if true fulfillment comes not from external things, but from cultivating an inner sense of peace, wisdom, and contentment? The Stoics believed that external circumstances are beyond our control, but our inner state is something we can shape. We can choose how we react to life's challenges, and we can decide what we value. By focusing on internal fulfillment, we are no longer slaves to the pursuit of things that we cannot control. Instead, we learn to cultivate peace, joy, and contentment, regardless of what happens around us. Reflect on the times in your life when you felt truly fulfilled. Was it when you bought something new, or when you achieved a goal? Or was it during moments of quiet, when you felt at peace with yourself, when you were present with those you love, or when you simply felt content with where you were in life? The Stoics believed that these moments, when we are at peace with ourselves, are the truest forms of fulfillment. They remind us that happiness doesn't come from the outside, but from within. To embrace internal fulfillment, you must start by focusing on your own values, your own virtues, and your own growth. This doesn't mean rejecting the outside world or the things that bring you joy. It means learning to find contentment in who you are, not in what you have. Internal fulfillment is the foundation for a peaceful life and it's something you have the power to cultivate every day. Number eight, building resilience through stoic self-reflection. Life is full of challenges and it's easy to feel overwhelmed by them. Whether it's personal struggles, professional setbacks or unexpected obstacles, we all face moments where we question our strength but what if we could approach these challenges with resilience, using them as opportunities to grow rather than as reasons to give up? The stoic practice of self-reflection is one of the most powerful tools for building resilience. By regularly examining our thoughts, actions and responses, we can better understand ourselves and learn to handle difficulties with greater strength. Stoics like Marcus Aurelius and Seneca practiced self-reflection as a way to stay grounded and focused even in the face of adversity. They recognized that life is unpredictable, but how we respond to challenges is what shapes our character. When you take time for self-reflection, you gain clarity about your strengths, weaknesses, and areas for growth. You begin to see that setbacks are not failures, but opportunities for improvement. By reflecting on your experiences, you can develop greater resilience, learning to navigate difficulties with a sense of calm and purpose. Instead of reacting impulsively or letting negative emotions control you, you begin to respond thoughtfully, making choices that align with your values and your long-term goals. Building resilience through stoic self-reflection requires a commitment to honest introspection. It's not always easy, but it's an essential practice for personal growth. By regularly checking in with yourself and evaluating your thoughts and actions, you can develop the mental fortitude to face life's challenges with grace and strength. Number nine, setting boundaries and cultivating positive environments. In a world that's constantly pulling us in different directions, it's essential to set boundaries and cultivate an environment that supports your personal growth. Boundaries are not about shutting people out or isolating yourself. They're about creating space for what matters most. They allow you to protect your time, your energy, and your emotional well-being so you can focus on your own growth and fulfillment. The Stoics understood the importance of boundaries. They knew that in order to live a virtuous life, you had to protect your inner peace and ensure that your environment didn't undermine your values. This could mean limiting your exposure to negativity, cutting ties with toxic influences, or creating physical space for activities that nurture your well-being. Reflecting on your own life, consider the people, environments and activities that drain your energy or distract you from your goals. How can you create more space for what matters? 
How can you set boundaries that protect your peace and support your personal growth? By taking control of your environment and setting clear boundaries, you create the conditions necessary for thriving. Boundaries are essential for maintaining focus and protecting your energy. By setting boundaries and nurturing a positive environment, you set yourself up for success and happiness. Number 10. The fear of pursuing dreams and stoic guidance. Fear is one of the biggest obstacles to pursuing our dreams. We fear failure, rejection and the unknown. But what if we embraced fear instead of avoiding it? What if, like the Stoics, we saw fear as an opportunity for growth and a sign that we're pushing ourselves beyond our comfort zone? The Stoic approach to fear is rooted in acceptance. Rather than running from fear or letting it paralyze us, Stoicism teaches us to face it head on. By accepting that fear is a natural part of life, we can move through it with greater clarity and strength. Instead of fearing failure, we learn to see it as a lesson, an opportunity to learn and grow. Reflect on your own dreams. What have you been putting off because of fear? Whether it's starting a new project, making a career change, or pursuing a passion, the stoic approach is to acknowledge the fear and take action anyway. Fear doesn't have to hold you back, it can be the catalyst for growth and transformation. Number 11. Overcoming fear with stoic practices of negative visualization. One of the most powerful stoic practices for overcoming fear is negative visualization. This practice involves imagining the worst case scenario and preparing yourself mentally for it. While this might sound counterintuitive, it helps reduce the power of fear by allowing you to accept that failure or hardship is a natural part of life. When you can envision the worst outcome and accept it, you are no longer ruled by fear. Reflect on a fear you've been avoiding. What's the worst that could happen? If you can accept that fear, you free yourself from its hold. By practicing negative visualization, you can approach challenges with more clarity and confidence, knowing that you are prepared for whatever comes your way. Number 12. Recognizing your own worth beyond external validation. As we've discussed, the need for external validation is one of the greatest challenges to personal growth. But what if you could recognize your own worth, independent of the opinions of others? What if you could cultivate self-respect, knowing that your value comes from who you are, not from what others think of you? The Stoics taught us that our true worth lies in our character, our virtues and our actions, not in the opinions or approval of others. By focusing on developing qualities like wisdom, courage and justice, we create a foundation of self-worth that doesn't rely on external validation. Reflect on your own worth. What do you value about yourself? How can you cultivate a deeper sense of self-respect and self-worth that isn't dependent on the approval of others? When you recognize your own worth, you are free to live authentically, making choices that align with your true self. Number 13. Embracing the right to happiness with Stoic philosophy. At the core of Stoic philosophy is the belief that happiness is our natural state. It's not something that we find in external achievements or material possessions, it's something that comes from within, from living in alignment with our values and virtues. The Stoics believed that we have the right to happiness, not because of what we achieve or acquire, but because of who we are. Embracing the right to happiness means letting go of the belief that happiness is reserved for a select few, or that it's something that must be earned through success. Happiness is a choice, and it comes from living in accordance with the natural laws of the universe, accepting life as it is, working on becoming the best version of ourselves, and nurturing our inner peace. By embracing this right, you empower yourself to live a life of fulfillment, regardless of external circumstances. Reflect on your own happiness. Are you waiting for something to happen before you allow yourself to be happy? 
What would happen if you embraced the right to happiness today, regardless of your current situation? When you choose happiness, you free yourself from the endless pursuit of external goals and you begin to find contentment in the present moment. The Stoic philosophy teaches us that happiness is not something we attain, but something we cultivate from within. And there you have it. The Stoic principles have the power to transform your life from the inside out, helping you master your emotions, break free from self-doubt, and create a lasting sense of inner peace. If you're ready to take control of your journey and step into your full potential, the first step is starting with your mindset. Drop a hundred in the comments if you've watched this far. It shows you're one of the few who are truly committed to making lasting changes in your life. If you're serious about leveling up, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Join our community and together, Let's unlock the wisdom to live a fulfilled and empowered life.